Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Nice to meet you. How do you say your name? Is it Shay? I I can't I can't hear you. Oh, I said, how do you say your name? Is it Shay? Sai. Sai. Okay. All right. Nice to meet you, Sai. Can you hear me? Okay. I forgot to put on headset. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. I I can hear you clearly. Okay. All right. It's late here, so I'm a little tired. So I'm gonna try to act like I have some energy. But still, uh, uh, giving me time in this uh, tired time, I feel very happy. Thank you. Thank you for requesting the energy. We keep missing each other because of the time difference. Yeah. So I thought uh, I thought to introduce you to my audience. What'd you say? I thought to introduce you to my audience. Oh, okay, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So can you please introduce yourself to my audience? Sure. My name is Makita. I'm a publicist. My PR agency is Jasmine Public Relations. I'm also a dancer, a pole dancer, and an aerial artist. And my dance brand is Flying Over 50. I'm an advocate for women over 50 to move their bodies in an effort to stay young and to revigorate their spirits. And, and I'll be 60 in two weeks. Oh, my God. You're not looking like uh, 50 plus. <laughs> I'm a grandmother. I have three grandchildren. Oh, my God. Oh my god. So, you're from? What'd you say? You are from? Oh, where am I from? Um, born in Los Angeles, uh, raised in, I guess I should leave this down. Born in Los Angeles, raised in Chicago, and I live in Los Angeles right now. Okay, so you're a pole dancer. Yes. I've been pole dancing. I started pole dancing. I started training as a pole dancer um, when I turned 50. So I've been dancing for 10 years now. Where do you do that? Um, at dance studios. I train at dance studios and I train at home now a lot because of, uh, you know, the pandemic. You get paid for that? Uh, um, no, it's it's like it's like a hobby. Well, I get paid when I teach women dance. So I get paid when I teach but um, so I saw a lot of movements of yours. Uh, you're, lo- you're, you're so flexible. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I have idea about pole dancing, but uh, I saw first time I'm talking with a pole dancer. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I will try to represent for all the pole dancers. <laughs> This is a new talent. Uh, this is a new, new uh, talent and a new skill that I'm seeing. Uh, uh, that, uh, with whom I am talking. Yeah. 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 It's it's gained a lot of popularity in the last several years. So can you tell more about it? Um, I don't know. Like, probably should ask me some questions. Um, I, I I don't know. Uh, when you when you started it, when you started it, and what made you to start it, and uh, what is the thing that you will be in the uh, in pole dancing? Oh, okay. I started when I started pole when I pursued pole dancing. It wasn't on my mind to like, oh, I'm gonna go take up pole dancing. I was going through a lot in my life. I was very depressed. I had lost, um, like the market had crashed, so I really had lost everything. My house, my relationship, my dog, my car. I was just looking for something to reinvigorate my spirit so I was looking for some kind of exercise. Um, kind of by a group and by accident, I took a pole dance class and I got hooked after the first class. And I loved it and I threw myself into it, um, like overdrive. I just, like threw myself into it because when I was in the pole dance studio, I didn't think about how miserable I was in the rest of my in the rest of my life. <laughs> so 
So pole dancing was like an escapism and the training was very, 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 did I say very, very intense. <laughs> Every day I would wake up, I would feel like I had got run over by a car. I was I realized I was training my body like an athlete, but it became very addictive. And the better I got, the more empowered I got. And it took away my depression and it just made me feel better as a woman. It reinvigorated my whole spirit and here it is 10 years later. I'm still pole dancing. Um, I do aerial, I do aerial performance. I perform on hammocks. I train on liras. You know, I do a lot of stuff now, all because of pole dancing. Pole dancing was like my gateway drug. So how did you change yourself? Uh, when you started pole dancing, you said that uh, you started uh, uh, recently. No, I, start, I started 10 years ago. Sorry? Oh, I, I started pole dancing 10 years ago. 10 years ago. So uh, what are the things that uh, you changed in yourself uh, to become a pole dancer? Um, I think the main thing is pole dancing requires a lot of discipline and... Um, I guess really a lot of discipline because the training is literally very intense. The training um, makes you use muscles that you didn't know you have, and the training kind of reshapes your whole body. So it's 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 pretty intense. Um, but it also it also reinvigorated my spirit. It also reinvigorated the feminine energy in me, and. Um, now I now when I teach older women, I don't necessarily teach them pole dancing, but I teach them uh, more movement and exotic movement to get them back into their bodies. So, so you said uh, you are a dance teacher too. Mm hmm. I'm a dance teacher as well. Yeah. Where do you work? Um, well, I was teaching at the at dance studios, but all the studios are closed now because of the pandemic. So I'm thinking about starting uh, starting back my teaching, and I'm going to teach online. I just I've just been too busy to set it up, but I'm going to start back teaching and do it online. Okay. So you're an advocate of? Pardon me. You're an advocate of? Do I work? Uh, uh, you are advocate for women. Oh, I'm not Ad sure. I'm you said you are advocate. Work. Oh, I'm not understanding you. A advocate. Advocate. You said advocate. Uh, I'm not understanding you. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Leave it. So, so, yeah. You said uh, you are a grandmother. Uh, I'm a grandmother. But you're so flexible. How are you maintaining that? Um, maintain my, my, my body flexibility by training. I train like every other day. I train all the time. Okay. So, so is this your uh, full-time job? No. My full-time job is I am a publicist. I run a PR agency. I've been a publicist for over 30 years. Okay. Pizza agency. A PR agency. Uh-huh. PR agency. Uh-huh. I had my own agency for, I think, 33 years now. Awesome. So Probably. what do you do? I think my agency is older than you. <laughs> yeah. It is older than me. I'm just 27. I figured you. Yeah, my daughter. Both my daughters are older than you. <laughs> so what is PR agency? Um, What we do... uh. Publicists, or what I say that I do as a publicist is I, um, people contact me when they want media attention for what they're doing, like actors, business people, artists, rappers, musicians. When they want the media to write about them, they come to me, and I am like the middle person between them and the media. I, I help them create media exposure. 
I like um I I book and coordinate all their radio, television, online and print interviews. So I'm sure after this interview I'll I'll become your one of your uh, media partner. Yes, I've been checking you out and you're going to be very famous one day and I'm sure you're going to call me. <laughs> So you have a lot of contacts right uh, media contacts so what is the thing that you observed in me uh, as an observer um that you have a passion for what you do you're very dedicated to your craft you're very enterprising um you're a go getter and you're probably going to have your own talk show one day Oh my god 30 years experience you saying this i think uh, i want to believe It's true. You probably will. You're going to be famous and you're going to forget, and hopefully you won't forget about me. <laughs> no way. I I feel great, you know, 60 years being 60 years you are uh, being uh, so inspiration. You know, a lot of Indians going to watch this video. 59 years or 60 years a uh, woman, you know, here they look different. I will definitely share uh, your photos and videos uh, in the promotional video. Okay. Uh, with your permission. Yes, that's uh, fine. That's fine. I, I want I want uh, everybody I want everybody from every country to watch you. Know uh, how hard it is the pole dancing and uh, and they say uh, you are uh, molding yourself being healthy and uh, uh driving yourself to be fit and uh, doing <laughs> it you know it's not a it's not that easy job i'm a sportsman i'm a professional sportsman so you understand then the the training and the working out i think yeah. a lot of people when they look at dancers and especially pole dancers it's so sexy that they think oh it's sexy so it's easy but it's not easy at all and it's even harder because you're doing athletic work and making it it looks sexy so it's doubly hard <laughs> that's what that's what i uh, i was observing you know i saw all of your uh, work so it was it was it was interesting that what you did what you do is interesting So not uh, not everybody in India know about pole pole dancing. Oh okay, all right. <laughs> I'm sure there's. I can't remember, but I I wonder do you guys there are probably some pole dance studios in India though. Maybe uh, it comes after this interview. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you will start. Uh, you will start your branch in India. <laughs> maybe one day. <laughs> so and uh, do you do do you have anything to say about uh, your work uh, to the world that uh, you didn't say to anybody that you want to share oh um i think my my mission one of my oh. missions is to express to women like when i was younger i always thought when i got like life was over and i would be a old maid and i always thought like being a grandmother would be the worst thing in the world and i want to say to women that just because we get older it's not the end of the world and getting older is really getting better and um society makes us think that it's not but that's not true i'm i'm really excited to turn 60 and i wouldn't want to be 20 again i'm Very, very excited to be 60, and I think women should embrace growing older because it's really the best. So it's a message to women that you are giving. Yes. Awesome. But uh, you are you are looking like 20, really. You know, until you say that you are 60, if you would have said that uh, 30 or 35, <laughs> you know, I would have easily believed. No, it's 60. I'll be 60. I'm a grandmother. <laughs> wow. So, so what wh- what do you say about your life? You you was into multiple fields. You you did a lot of things in your life. So, what do you say about your life? Um, I guess 
the other thing I would say what I've learned on the road to being 60 is that life is not a destination, it's a journey. And a lot of people approach life like it's a destination, like they have to get somewhere or achieve a certain thing. And things that you, like, back in 2008, I thought I had achieved everything I wanted to achieve. I own, like, houses. I own cars. I have property. I had a man. <laughs> and then the market crashed, and I lost everything. And I think the lesson it taught me is that life is a long journey. It's a winding journey. It's, it's not like you get to a destination and that's it. Like you, like, like, like that's the end. You never know what life has, has in store for you. So you have to stay fluid and stay flexible and understand that it's a long, long winding road journey. And then that, that also keeps you from getting stressed out. Okay. So is that expected? Life is expected or unexpected? Uh, life is unexpected. Okay. Is there any incident in your life that made you to change you completely? Is there is there what in my life? Any incident, any particular incident that changed uh, the um, way you think completely? Yeah, I think I think back in two thousand and eight when I completely lost everything, that changed my perspective about a lot of things. I literally lost like the roof over my head. I lost everything. So that pretty much changed my perspective about life. And uh, what you started doing after that? Um, rebuilding my life and I started pole dancing. <laughs> nice. It's nice talking to you. Uh, it's nice talking to you, Mahira Smith. Uh, thanks for giving your valuable time and uh, even, uh, you know, it is uh, your sleeping time. Uh, you accepted uh, uh, my request and accepted to talk with me. And Thank you. Um, you're a very handsome, very intelligent young man. I've crossed a lot of talented people, and I can usually tell when people are going someplace, and you're one of the people who are who's going to go someplace. I fully expect you to have your own talk show, like with thousands and thousands of followers. So, me when you need me for PR because you're going to be very famous. Sure, definitely. You saying this, you know, it's a big thing for me. I'm sure uh, one day I'll I'll come with you again to my audience and uh, talk about your work again and uh, okay. uh, we'll talk more when you are completely free. And yeah. next, time, next time I won't be so exhausted. I feel like it's the end of the day. It's a long day and I also was in a two-hour dance class today. So I'm exhausted. <laughs> You're truly an inspiration uh, to uh, to the world and to Thank the woman you. especially. Yeah. Thank you. So are you, young man. You're a very enterprising young man, reaching out to people all around the planet. You do beautiful work. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I put this video on my YouTube channel on the internet you, on social media with your permission? You can, you can put it wherever you want. I hope I don't look bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. All right, dear. Thank you and bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Sleep well. Sleep well. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.